Well, you know, that peacetime emergency is one of the things they're debating at the Capitol right now. But they also hope to get some other things accomplished, including some police accountability reforms, a bonding bill, and some tax breaks for small businesses and farmers. The Senate will come to order. 2020 special session number two, and there's disagreement in the air at the Capitol about whether COVID-19 truly constitutes the kind of emergency where the governor needs to act alone. The emergency part of it is over. We had to make sure that we had a, a system in place to have the, the beds that we needed if we needed them. Turns out we haven't needed them yet. Uh, we had to make sure you know, that we had all of those resources available. All of that's in place. Uh, patterns in the southern states are especially concerning if they reflect that when people go inside, uh, there is a, a little bit of a runaway contagion. In the meantime, negotiations continue in the background on a $1.3 billion public works construction bonding bill, and they're trying to reach agreement on police accountability reforms. When we all watched the video of George Floyd's last minutes of life, Something changed in, in, in us and in Minnesota that, that can't be put right without taking action. We, we must take action. We are working with a number of Democrats that want to work on some of the other reforms. Uh, banning chokeholds would be one of the things that there seems to be agreement. Now that's the Senate uh, Republican leader, Paul Gazelka, talking about banning chokeholds. You may remember from the first special session, the Republican Senate, they wanted it to be a policy where it's banned and the House Democrats wanted it to be an actual law where an officer could actually be charged with a crime for doing a chokehold. So that continues. Of course, the big discussion uh, at the Senate today is about whether or not the governor should have the sole authority to do things like decide on schools or decide on a mask mandate. They want that to be something the legislature gets to decide uh, in conjunction with the governor, but not the governor by himself. Rena? Well, John, normally when they have these special sessions, they kind of already have an agreement before they go into it. This is, we're now on round two, if you will. Do we have any idea how close we are on some of these issues and how long this might last? Uh, well, they definitely say that they want to work this week and try to come up with something that they can pass next Monday. So like a lot of the bills will be passed a week from today, but the real work gets done between now and then. But they do believe they are pretty close in the bonding bill. I mean, this is the first time uh, since January we've heard both the House and the, and the, the Senate say they, they, we've got an amount, $1.35 billion. So that's a really good starting point on the bonding, public works construction bonding bill. As far as police reforms go, you know, the big question is, can the Senate accept something that the House will still be happy with? And that is one of those unanswered questions as we start this week at the Capitol. All right. Thank you, John. Appreciate it.